Hello, this is Adrian from my channel, Random Drop. Um, it is the first day after FanFest at this point. I really just wanted to make a quick video on the significance of what was announced last night. The big reveal, right? The surprise. Right now, you're probably looking at a bunch of reaction videos of people just absolutely losing their shit over these male Vieira. And I'm not a person who like really cared or really wanted. I'm more interested in the cat mamas. But hey, they've announced that that's probably going to come one day now. But these people, right? The the fans who've wanted Mel Vieira and been very vocal about it for quite a while. Um, they're just, God, man, there's just so many videos of people just losing their minds about it. And it's awesome to see. It was all for certain. And if you're not from the Final Fantasy XIV community or you just started joining or started in Shadowbringers, right? You weren't there for for, you know, all the drama that was the pre-Shadowbringers, you know, reveals of the races, right? The fact that they were only creating half of each of these races and Yoshi P very much expressed like, hey, we really don't want to add more races in this game, but we feel like Hrothgar and female Viera kind of fill out those gaps that we're kind of missing at this moment, right? But it takes way too much time and resources to create those races and and like there was some compromise right like a lot of helmets didn't work and then like some devs worked really hard and some extra helmets were working right but it wasn't part of their cycle right or their plan process um so they were like very adamant or very clear about like hey like we're probably not going to do any more races and we're probably not going to do the female and male versions of these races which people really didn't like and didn't like and very much expressed like guys like we really want these like and you know there's fan arts and fans are constantly asking about it and yoshi p pretty much said like we're not going to say no at this point but he pretty much hinted like hey there was no plan for it right and 14 being a very like yoshi p is very clear about like their dev cycle most of the time most of the time apparently until now when something's in the plans and in the works it's in the works right very rarely do they hold like super weird crazy shit to their chest but apparently they did this time um so like it was very the community pretty much knew for sure thought for sure like okay it, it's not gonna happen anytime soon if it does it may happen down in the future because it's just not in the plans right because they're very clear and very static in their plans right there's very few surprises in the actual development cycle of the game they're very clear on what's coming and what's here what's here what's here what's here um, and when Yoshi P says like hey right now this is not something like I have planned for or working on he's he's not lying right you most of the time but it's like there was that much feedback and that much you know vocalization of those voices that they took notice and like put work into it and apparently the dev team of uh, who makes the animations and graphics for the races you know kicked ass but it would have never happened if all those fans just didn't raise their voices and it's really neat to see that right <laughs> there are other games where those voices are so silenced and they act like you fucking not there or around and it's just another example to like clearly show like the people up on that stage at FanFest actually fucking care about this game. It's crazy to see everything else, like all the, like, the Destinies, the Warcrafts, the, you know, they're all trying to fucking sell you something, but they're very, you know, just real about this shit. Like they are telling you how it is, why things won't happen and whatnot. But to see this and see them listen and put the fucking work into it and come in with just like a fucking huge surprise is, it's incredible to see. And, Again, it shows that this dev team still has that in them, right? To be like, you thought, you thought you knew, but you didn't. Gotcha, bitch. And it's great. It's fucking awesome to see that, like, hey, they are listening. They very much care about your feedback. When Yoshi P's up there on stage saying, like, this is the biggest expansion ever. It's gonna, it's gonna take us till November. Like, we're literally riding the line at the end of the year here. But, but listen to us, guys. It's the fucking biggest thing we've ever did, and we believe him. We believe it. it's not PR speak. It's not him just trying to sell you a product. It's like, oh, you're going to spend so much hours here. Yeah, give us your money pro order. He's very legitimately saying like, this is the biggest project we've ever done. This is our finale. This is the vision we want to do. It's going to take till fucking the end of November. And please ride this out with us. And we're the fucking there. Everyone's there. Especially with the Vieira shit. Everyone's just like, yeah, take your time. Fucking whatever. You clearly care about your community and what you're doing here. We got you. We're gonna back you up. People are gonna make those fucking heavens words memes until all the way to launch. 
and more and more people are going to jump into the game and it's going to just grow exponentially over time until we get this like fucking crazy peak where Endwalkers actually comes out, right? And it's going to be, it's awesome. And yeah, I, I just can't wait. It's super cool to see that they like, <laughs> we thought like we know these devs, right? We're, we're very clear like, oh, they're just going to announce the dungeons or this, the this, the this. And like not much surprises, right? But no, <laughs> they still got the passion. They got that fire under them pants, right? They're they're ready to rock. And yeah, um, I'm here for it. I'm not gonna play Bunny Boy, but I'm really happy for those people who are just super excited and they felt listened to, man. And again, there's holy shit, the fucking like difference between certain games and this game and how they just fucking just listen to people, man. And that's all it takes. It's just not hard. And the fact that it's a Japanese company and still the communication is not lost is incredible. And that's probably more on the community team and how great that team is and getting that information to the devs across seas and getting it translated. It's just holy crap. But we can't even get these Western studios to just listen to their fans. They think they know better. And yeah, it is Final Fantasy XIV is a very good video game. There's a free trial that goes up to Hennepin's Word, the award-winning expansion. Go try it out if you haven't. It is one of the greatest games ever made, and I say that sincerely. Bye-bye.